What's going on everyone? Welcome to episode 3 of my trading series. Today I'm going to talk about a very common technique in the fitness industry that is also considered a myth by some people but personally to me from my experiences I can tell that it's a very effective and also an enjoyable technique so that's why I'm going to talk about it today and I'm going to explain what it is and why you should or at least why I think that you should do it. Today I'm going to talk about refeed days. Alright before I say anything I just want to apologize for the lighting because it may not be very good because I'm using one lamp here and my ceiling lighting right there and it's not really professional or anything but I'm just improvising and trying to do whatever I can because it's night outside because I got back home a bit late and I haven't uploaded a video for a while so I better start doing that right now because I've got time so without any more explanation and excuses let's start with the video first off what is a refeed a refeed day if you haven't heard about it is a day in which you consume a substantially high amount of carbohydrates in order to lose fat and yes I know what you're thinking isn't consuming carbohydrates and especially in high amounts making me fat and making me gain weight well yeah it practically does but the answer is also no it doesn't you see refeeds are used because my body, your body, your neighbor's body, pretty much anybody's body is a machine that is constructed to survive and when you are cutting like me of course obviously because it's shredding series after all when you're cutting you are putting your body into starvation mode and when you're doing so it's going to do everything in order to survive so if your metabolism was used to 2700 calories for example to maintain its weight then you start to cut at about 2450 if you aren't going too extreme on it then after a period of maybe three weeks if you are sticking to that regime your body will get used to those 2450 calories in order to maintain its weight and why does that happen because your metabolism slows down this is because your body down regulates hormones in order to save up energy and therefore it slows down your metabolism and therefore it stops your fat losing journey or at least it hinders it where am i going with all of this well actually one of these hormones that are being down regulated in your body when you are cutting is leptin and when you are cutting it's going down and down and down and together with it goes the metabolism it slows down because actually leptin is responsible for your metabolism and now here comes the why for why to do a refeed day you need to have a refeed day because actually leptin is highly responsive to glucose and glucose after all is a carbohydrate so simply put you need to increase your carbohydrate intake in order to increase leptin within your body and therefore continue with your fat losing journey and reach a pinnacle point in which you are satisfied with your weight and stuff however you are going to do whatever you want after you reach your goal but however now I'm saying that refeed days are very good because they are both enjoyable and will help you to reach your goal faster and more efficient I think that you already get the concept of what a refeed day is and if you have been cutting for a while now and you've just watched this I bet that you're already wondering on with what carbs should I stuff myself up after this video because Come on, everybody hates cutting, I get it, it's so horrible because actually I want my carbs from the moment that I start cutting and I just can't live without my carbs. It's like... Now, how often do you have a refeed day? Well, actually this is highly dependent on your body composition. For example, if you are over 16% of body fat percentage, then you should have a refeed day every two to three weeks compared to a person who is below 12% of body fat percentage because their leptin levels will be much lower and therefore they will need a refeed day more often, for example, every week, once a week. And a person who is above 16% of body fat percentage should have a refeed day every two to three weeks and maybe even more. You should also listen to your body because this is maybe the best coach and guide for you so listen to your body and do a refeed day of course not whenever you want because i want a refeed day every day but just try to listen to your body and if you are way too tired and you want to binge on everything then maybe have a refeed day but don't go too hard on it all right it's it's not a cheat it's a technique now the last thing before you get out of the chair and start buying cereals honey and whatever you can think of that is full of carbs just wait a second so i can tell you how you can calculate how many carbs to consume on a refeed day as this is maybe the most important thing for today's video I told you all the benefits from a refeed day but I didn't tell you how to do it so what to do firstly take a piece of paper 
Did you do it? I hope you did it. Now we should calculate your maintenance calories, which actually happens really easily. You just need to multiply your body weight in pounds, don't forget to do it in pounds, by 14, 15 or 16. These three random numbers are not just random, they are selected. So all of these three numbers correspond to your activity during the day. So 14 is sedentary, you're not moving a lot, you're training three two days per week maybe uh, so 15 is moderately active so you are training four to five days per week you are walking but not too much and 16 is very active you are running you are walking a lot you've got a hard job and you're training maybe six to seven days per week which is me pretty much so i will multiply my weight which is 164 by 16 and then i get my maintenance calories which are 2625 so we've got our maintenance calories. Now before I continue, have these three things in mind. One gram of carbohydrates has four calories, one gram of protein has four calories and one gram of fats has nine calories. Now let's calculate your macros. It's very easy, so let's not overcomplicate it. For your protein, you just need to multiply your body weight in pounds by 0 0.9 and for me, this is 164, my body weight in pounds, multiplied by 0 0.9 nine which is roughly 150 grams of protein for my refeed day now the fats i would suggest you to bring down your fats really low on your refeed day because actually you're going to consume a lot of carbs and if you consume a lot of fats as well you will not surely but very likely gain some fat and this is not something that you want to happen so you better bring down your fats a lot maybe 40 to 50 grams for the day will be good, maybe even less if you want, but not above 50 grams because this is probably going to make you gain some fat. For me, 45 grams of fat will be just perfect for my refeed day. Now the last thing, the carbohydrates, the sweet, sweet carbohydrates. Yeah, literally, they are actually sweet because they are sugars and they are carbohydrates. You get it? However, how to calculate them? Well, it's actually really easy as it was for the protein and the fats. Now, we've got 600 calories from protein and how did I calculate that? Well, actually, I've got 150 grams of protein for my refeed day and I multiplied by 4. Why? Because I said that in 1 gram of protein there are 4 calories. So I just multiply 150, which is my protein for the refeed day, by 4 and I get 600 calories from protein on my refeed day. Then I get my fats and I multiply them by 9 because as I said 1 gram of fat has 9 calories so 45 by 9 makes 405 I think. Yes it's maybe that and I'm left with 1005 calories from both protein and fats on my refeed day and the rest is going to be from carbohydrates. However we are yet not done now I have to subtract 1005 from my maintenance calories which is going to equal 1620 so my maintenance calories are 2625 and my protein and fats equal 1005 calories for a refeed day so I am left with 1620 calories from carbohydrates on my refeed day then I just divide that by 4 which will give me the grams of carbohydrates for my refeed day and they are 405 exactly so I'm going to have 405 grams of carbs on my refeed day together with 45 grams of fats and 150 grams of protein. Easy as that. And this all equals 2625 calories for the day. And I'm going to enjoy it so freaking much because it's tomorrow. I'm going to do it tomorrow and I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to make a full day feeding on a refeed day. But maybe you have to wait a little bit for this because... I'm still yet not over with school, I still have to study and stuff, but I'm going to try to upload this video tomorrow. However, that's pretty much what a refeed is. I hope that you understood everything that I said. If you haven't, just replay the video and then if you haven't learned anything, just ask me in the comment section down below. I'm going to answer your questions immediately as I always do. So guys, thank you for watching really much. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the little bell so you can see my upcoming videos. And I'm going to probably go eat something because I'm hungry already. And then I'm going to bed and I'm probably going to collapse. But let's not waste your time with my stuff. I'm going to just say bye now. Thank you for watching again. Stay healthy, stay positive and, you know, I'll see you in the next one.